So my best thing and worst thing are fairly abstract this week. My worst thing is that I think I might be getting a little bit less intelligent, which is kind of unfortunate, and my best thing is that I don't care too much and I'm getting more knowledgeable. So basically I'm going from valuing something that is completely relative to something that is not as relative. Intelligence is really relative because problem solving skills and that kind of stuff, anything that's measured by an IQ test is pretty much defined in terms of how good are you compared to everybody else. If the entire human population went up by 20 IQ points, the people who test IQs would shift the normal curve over 20 points to compensate for it, which means that no matter what, the population's IQ will always have an average of 100. So if you want to be smart, then that means you have to just be smarter than everybody else. Knowledge, on the other hand, is a lot harder to compare between people. If I have a degree in psychology and you have a degree in history, then we can both be really knowledgeable, but there's really no telling who is more knowledgeable, because our knowledge is just about impossible to compare. Neither is better or worse than the other, they're just different. So you really can't help but be held to your own standards instead of the standards of the rest of the world. And if your self-esteem relies on things that are not relative as much, then you're generally going to just have a better self-esteem. It's also probably good that I'm beginning to value something that I have more control over than intelligence. Intelligence is mostly hereditary and problem-solving skills and that kind of thing. You are just born with or you're not, and you can change it a bit through practicing very specific skills, but there is a huge hereditary component to it. Whereas knowledge, you can just get more of it whenever you want. Everybody is capable of getting it. And when you get it, it's really reasonable to be proud of that. It's also better to try to take pride in the things you do than the things you are, in some ways. If your self-esteem relies on things that you were born with, then you're gonna have a really unstable sense of self. But if your sense of self-esteem relies on the things that you have control over, then you're actually going to have a much more stable sense of self-esteem and you'll be a lot more motivated to achieve things. The other interesting thing about human intelligence as a whole is that since they shift the normal curve every now and then, they've been kind of keeping track of how smart our species is. And it's generally been getting smarter because intelligence is an adaptive quality and problem-solving skills will generally help you survive and reproduce, but that's about at its peak, probably. Because right now, people who get higher educations in general have higher IQs, and people who finish schooling out of high school have lower IQs, so people with lower IQs are going to reproduce when they're about 20, maybe, and people with higher IQs might reproduce when they are 25 to 30. So every 100 years, there are going to be five generations of people with lower IQs, and three or four generations of people with higher IQs, which means there's going to be five people with low IQs for every three or four people with high IQs there are. So I'm guessing that humans are just about at their peak of intelligence right about now. So if we have anything to get done, like science, we should probably do it now.